This is Kay Ryan, an award-winning contemporary poet and the 16th Poet Laureate of the United States, who served from 2008 to 2010. In her poetry, Ryan tends to, in her words, explore how the brain works and doesn't work. She considers these abstract concepts, using dense, short lines of poetry to force her readers to think outside the box. Such technique can be seen firsthand in her poem, A Hundred Bolts of Satin, from her fifth volume of poetry titled, Say Uncle. A Hundred Bolts of Satin. All you have to lose is one connection, and the mind uncouples all the way back. It seems to have been a train. There seems to have been a track. The things that you unpack from the abandoned cars cannot sustain life. A crate of tractor axles, for example. A dozen dozen clasp knives. A hundred bolts of satin. Perhaps you specialized more than you imagined. Ryan describes this poem as a mind coming apart at the seams, which she finds genuinely terrifying because such a mind cannot sustain life. Delving deeper into the nature of the human mind, Ryan also tends to write about other psychological concepts, such as identity, neuroplasticity, and forgetting the past. However, Ryan got her start as a poet long before she started publishing such profound literature. Born in San Jose, California in 1945, Kay Ryan grew up in a series of small towns in the San Joaquin Valley and Mojave Desert. The daughter of a day laborer and a part-time school teacher, Ryan eventually received her bachelor's and master's degrees in English from the University of California in Los Angeles, and ultimately decided to dedicate her life to poetry while on a 4,000-mile bike trip across the United States. Interviewed about what led her to settle on pursuing poetry as a career, Ryan replied that she felt a oneness with nature while in the Colorado mountains, making her feel as if she could pass through pine trees and they through her. This experience inspired her to explore poetry as a career at the age of 29, after pondering what she would do for nearly 10 years. Ryan privately published her first compilation of poetry, Dragon Axe to Dragon Ends, in 1983 with the help of friends. Her work continued to go largely unnoticed until the mid-1990s, when a few of her poems were recognized in national literary journals, such as The Best of American Poetry and The Best of the Best American Poetry, from 1988 to 1997. She received the Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize in 2004, after which she became widely recognized in the world of poetry. Throughout the following 15 years, Ryan grew even more prominent in her field, publishing several more volumes of poetry, such as Flamingo Watching, The Niagara River, and The Best of It. Additionally, Ryan's work has been continually lauded in the poetry community throughout the years, leading to her reception of several major literary awards, including the Union League Poetry Prize, Maurice English Poetry Award, and the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry. Stylistically, Ryan has set herself apart from other modern poets through her use of internal rhymes, wordplay, and in her words, developing poems the way an oyster does, through aggravation. This refers to the structure most of her poems follow, with a statement or idea being presented in the beginning and then later developed throughout the remainder of the poem. To this day, Kay Ryan continues to write poetry in Marin County, California, still pondering the curious nature of the human mind and conveying her perspective on these matters through quirks of logic and language, as can be seen in her poem, New Rooms, which is about how the mind adapts to new environments. Uh, oh, I think this one's pretty funny. This is called New Rooms. Um, the mind must set itself up wherever it goes. Right? Okay, right? You with me? Okay. The mind must set itself up wherever it goes, and it would be most convenient to impose its old rooms. Just tack them up like an interior tent. Oh, but the new holes aren't where the windows went. Often compared to Emily Dickinson and Marianne Moore by critics, Ryan has clear stylistic influences from modernist and postmodernist poetry, which can be seen in her use of abstract poetic form 
irregular rhyme schemes, and her exploration of psychological phenomena in her work. Critic Donna Gioia has said that Ryan challenges her reader in unusual ways. She is not obscure, but sly, dense, elliptical, and suggestive. She plays with her readers, not maliciously or gratuitously, but to rouse them from conventional response and expectation. Her poem, The Pharaohs, is a perfect example of these subtle stylistic elements that make Ryan's work one of a kind. The moral is simple. Don't help other people with their secrets. <laughs> but within the self, what defense is there against the pharaohs who demand chambers we must build on pain of death after which we're killed? A person is as a kingdom and can afford some losses toward the construction of underground systems, say the pharaohs, shutting their cunning doors that never were and won't be evermore. The profundity and wit with which K. Ryan explores the idiosyncrasies and nuances of the human mind make her work stand out from that of other poets of our time. And after reading her poetry, that becomes quite clear. Considered an outsider in the poetry world, regardless of what others may say, she will no doubt continue to challenge her readers to confront traditional ways of thinking. And this makes Kay Ryan a poet like no other.